Hey, what's going on people? So in today's video, I'm going to explain the set timeout function in JavaScript. The set timeout function allows you to schedule the execution of a function after an amount of time in milliseconds. The times are approximate. They vary based on the workload of your JavaScript runtime environment. I wouldn't recommend using set timeout for anything precise like a stopwatch. It's an approximation. To use the set timeout function, you pass in a callback to a function and a delay in milliseconds. Here's an example. I will create a function to say hello. All we're going to do is window.alert the word hello. I will use the set timeout function, pass in a callback. We'll pass in a callback to say hello, then execute it after 3000 milliseconds. So three seconds. Let's see if this works. One, two, three, hello. An anonymous function works too. So instead of a callback, we'll use an anonymous function. Function, parentheses, curly braces, window.alert, the word, hello. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, hello. Or even an arrow function. We have parameters, arrow, what are we going to do? Window dot alert the word hello. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. Hello. You can use the clear timeout function to cancel a timeout before it triggers, but we have to pass in a timeout ID. So what we'll do with this set timeout function is assign it to an ID stored within a variable or constant const time out id equals our set timeout function that'll display the word hello i can clear this timeout with the clear timeout function but i have to pass in that id as an argument immediately after calling the set timeout function we will cancel it let's try it 1 1000 2 1000 3 1000 yeah, nothing's happening. We canceled it. All right, what we'll do this time is create a button using HTML. When we click on the button, we'll set a timeout to display the word hello. So let's clear all of this, go to our HTML file. We'll create a button. The button will have text of start. And I'm gonna zoom in. I will set the on click attribute to equal a function. We will start a timer, then add a set of parentheses. When we click on the button, do this function. So within our JavaScript file, we will create a start timer function. Function start timer. We will set timeout. I'll use an arrow function. Let's window dot alert the word. We will display the word hello after 3000 milliseconds. All right, so nothing's going to happen until I click the button. I'm going to click it now. One, 1000, two, 1000, three, 1000. Hello. Let's create a second button to clear the timeout if we need to stop it. Let's copy our first button, paste it, change the text of the button to be clear. We will clear the timeout, but we'll need another function. Clear timer. So there's our second button. We'll need a timeout ID. So outside of this function, I will declare a variable of let timeout ID. When we start our timer, we will assign the set timeout function an ID of timeout ID. Then we can stop it using this ID. We will create a function to clear the timer. We're going to use the clear timeout function, clear timeout. We need to pass out a timeout ID as an argument, which we will do. 
And then just to be sure that everything works within both these functions, let's console.log something. Let's say the word started within our start timer. And within our clear timer, let's display the word cleared, just so we know that these functions were called. So I'm going to save everything. I'm going to start the timer, but not clear it. Let's start now. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Hello. Let's go to our console. And it says that we started. Well, starter. I clearly can't spell today. Started. We're going to start, then cancel. Start. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Clear. And nothing happened. Let's go to our console. Inspect. Console. We started set timeout, and then we cleared it. All right, everybody, that is the set timeout function. It's a function in JavaScript that allows you to schedule the execution of a function after an amount of time in milliseconds. Execution time may vary based on the workload of the JavaScript runtime environment. And well, everybody, that is the set timeout function in JavaScript.